to share in Rye Tech training, I wanted to share with you a device which I use for training, and honestly, I wouldn't train without it. It is a device to teach Goldman Applination Tonometry. These are available from iTech Limited, which is iTechUSA.com. It's the only place I know to get them, and I bought multiple ones from them. Each of my clinical trainers has a couple of these, and as do I. So let me just show you what comes in it. I just got a brand new um, eye model, and so these are fantastic. Um, first of all, they come in a nice hard shell case, which is great for me and my trainers because we're always flying here and there. Um, it's got really nice padding, so you know that your model eye is going to be in good shape when you get where you're going. Um, let me just show you what comes with the package. Um, we've got a nice pen here. You can always use one of those, right? And then um, we've got the model eye itself. Let me just show you that. So this is a, a model eye that has, I'm gonna put the little stand up here. There's a stand that comes with it too if you wanna keep it in a stand rather than in the case itself. Uh, so it has a cornea, an iris and a pupil as you can see. Um, it is a very simple but fantastic device. On the back is a pneumatic adjustment to change the eye pressure from a, a low to a medium and a high setting. Uh, so your trainee won't have the same pressure every time he or she practices. I also use this for demonstrating how to check angles. Uh, when the pressure's lower in the eye, in this eye model, the, the chamber's a little um, shallower. So that's another great use for this. So the way that you actually mount this to the slit lamp is uh, there's a bar here and this bar uh, attaches to the, uh, the bar, the vertical bar between the chin rest and the forehead bar using this little guy here. Very simple, it's got a couple of screws. Um, so this part right here is where the arm between the chin rest and the forehead bar, that vertical bar goes. And then you've got this hole, which holds this bar, which I just um, took out of the box. And this bar has a hole on one end. So what you do is you put this bar in here, which I'm, I can't do right now because the screw is out and I only have one hand because I'm filming. You put that in there. And then this hole, in that hole, you place the tonometry model eye like so. Super simple. You can use this as a right eye or a left eye. You can pivot it uh, within the hole if you wanna you know, change the angle of it. Um, I always store these eyes side down so they stay perfect. Everything has a place in the container, which I really like. So it comes with a fluorescein dye, which is not for human eyes. Um, these are available, replacements are available on their website as well. And then you just spray, it's a spray for fake eyes. This is a replacement cornea, which is really nice. Occasionally I have a student who will push too hard with the Goldman Tonometry Probe and will perforate the cornea and then we have a hypotenuse eye. We can't use it anymore. So I always like to have a spare cornea with me when I train. And uh, that's basically it. I would not train without these. I remember when I was first trained in ophthalmology, I had to learn on human eyes and it was nerve wracking. So I don't put my students through that. I would give them a model eye to practice on. And once they've demonstrated proficiency with this, um, I move them on to human eyes. One of the things I really like about this device is that you can stay on the cornea after the trainee measures the pressure, they can stay on the cornea with the probe and the trainer can then look through the oculars to make sure that they align to the Myers correctly and that they have a correct amount of fluorescein dye. I don't do that when we're training on human eyes. Um, I teach my trainees to get off the cornea as soon as they can once they get a pressure. But with these, um, you know, it's, it's great because they can stay on the cornea. So that is the Tonometry Model Eye by iTech. USA.com. Uh,
Um, I recommend these highly, check it out.